Miss Whitelock here. This is your lesson on pewter casting, which I'm going to teach you about today. And then you can go on to Google and fill in the forms um, and do the activities. So pewter casting is where we take a low melting point alloy, which is more than one metal mixed together. And we heat it up in a ladle, uh, which is a big mild steel spoon using a heat gun which is usually used in um, DIY to strip paint from wood. Um, and then we pour that liquid metal from our ladle into a mould, which I'll show you in a minute. There's a hole in the mould, or a cavity, which means that we can pour the liquid metal in. And then we leave it for a short amount of time to cool off and to turn into a solid. This process is really easy and really quick, but all processes in DT are usually a little bit dangerous. So when I do the casting process here, I wear leather gloves and I wear goggles and I also wear an apron. The apron's primarily to protect my clothing um, and also it covers my arms up, but I should be wearing long sleeve clothing anyway. The gloves protect my hands from burns because at 230 degrees, the metal could splash on my skin or I could accidentally touch something that's hot and the goggles are to protect my eyes from again from splash. Sometimes when we cast we wear a full face visor um, but we're not going to wear a face visor today because we're just doing a tiny piece of metal in our ladle. When I turn the heat gun on it's going to take a few minutes to heat the material up and then I'm going to transfer it across and pour it in. There's another video that's slightly faster which zooms into the pouring part of the process which you can watch me doing as well and there are other things that I need to tell you about like this. Um, this is a special tool that we've made in school that Mr Roberts has made. This is used for scraping off the impurities from the metal. So when we heat up our pewter alloy in this big wooden ladle the other parts of the stuff that's in and around the room and that is on the spoon all mix into that li liquid metal and we call those impurities and we don't want them in our casting because they'll make our casting lower quality so this tool is used to scrape what we call the slag off the top of the material um, and then we can pour the pewter in and the pewter will be nice and clean and just have the metals in it that we want to be in there this tool is also used to pop the mold out of the rig or the casting sometimes we call this a rig because we've got all the bits in one place this is used to pop it out of position so that the next person that's waiting to cast can do it a bit more quickly because if we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to cool down so that we can touch it like more safely and we're doing it in a classroom full of lots and lots of people it would just take too long so what we do is we just pop it out and push it out of the way to the back and that means the next team or the next person can get set up to do their casting straight afterwards. Um, I really hope you enjoy this demonstration. As I said at the start, all of the things that you need to fill in for this lesson are in Google Classroom. Um, there's probably a planning task where you have to shuffle around the pictures and the statements or there might be a Google form, a quiz to fill in which has got some facts in it about pewter casting um, and if you're really eager you could collect us some pictures of things that have been made from pewter on the internet and we really hope that you'll be um, enjoy this topic when you're in school. Thanks for your time.